everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's been a minute, I know. Uh, I thought I'd pick up again with a vlog because I felt that was the best way to maybe update you guys about what's been happening and why I've been on a bit of a hiatus with my channel. Um, it's already the afternoon and as you can tell I'm outside. I have my face mask here preemptively because I will be going inside. I'm just going to the mall right now. I hope it's not too loud. We have two seasons here in Canada. We have construction season and we have winter. This Puck and I are just going for a walk right now and we're gonna go to our first outing basically. I haven't been to the mall in what feels like forever. I believe it's like 90 Fahrenheit for those Americans who are following me. It's 31 uh, degrees Celsius for Canadians. It's really, really hot. And there's also like a humid X of like 45%. So it probably feels hotter than that. If you live in New York City, you're probably gonna understand exactly what I'm talking about with the humidity. I don't think every state or province has that. Anyways, we just got them all. I'm gonna go to Winners, which is the place I've been dying to go to since this whole quarantine. Um, I know they're having a lot of restrictions as far as keeping a distance and wearing a mask, so I'm going to do that now. His hawk hopefully will take a nap. He didn't take a nap today. He's really, really just fussy because he's teething. He has almost five teeth already. So I'll show you guys what it's like in winters. not for dogs. <laughs> hey everyone, I hope you guys can hear me. I'm sitting inside uh, the water fountain. The mall is very, very loud. That's why I'm not speaking much here. I just put on my LV pump, so we'll see how this goes, but I'm trying it out as I walk outside. I think it'll hold up pretty well. Like, it's a very good pump so far. I'm gonna do a full review in my pumping video. I'm gonna talk about breastfeeding and pumping separately because I've experienced with both now. Um, at the top part where it's really open and they have like an open uh, top, so I'm not wearing my mask. I'm gonna go outside now and then walk home all the way with my pump. And that should be my full pumping time. So I'll show you guys what I gather from that at the end. But I'm really excited about this pump and it's on right now. It's not too obvious with this kind of top. I think it is obvious if you were wearing a form fitted top, but with something loose, you can't really tell. You can't hear it at all. It is so quiet. Especially now that we're getting to a quieter part of the mall. I don't know if you guys can hear anything. There's no pump sound whatsoever, so it's a really good pump. Oh, poor Papa was so tired. I'm glad that he finally fell asleep though, because he's been up for like five hours. He did not want to sleep. This teething is really bothering him. Which feels so beautiful. Look at that. Hey everyone, so I showed you how much I pumped. In about 10 minutes, I got 60, which is not bad. I think I'm still gonna try to feed him again before I leave. My Spectra does get more. I'm going into the washroom right now because I need to wash my face. It was a really hot walk, as you can see. Look, I'm just all shiny. So I'm back from my walk now. My hijab is a mess. I got some sweat on my forehead. That's lovely. I'll clean up myself in a moment. This little guy woke up right away. Yeah. He had a messy diaper, so I just changed him. 
my husband's in the other room working, which is a big part of why I have not been able to vlog. He's been basically in back-to-back -back meetings all day, every day. Just this week, yesterday, we started Sunday Man back in part-time daycare. I'm going to go pick him up now. And yes, I have still that redness on my nose from the mask. That's what I really despise about wearing masks is you just get this like line of red across your face. So please ignore that. I'm going to go pick up Sunday Man. Uh, we started daycare again because they have limited spaces anyways. They're following a really strict guideline as far as hygiene and cleanliness. There's not many kids that we see in general anyways and so man was getting to a point at home where he he couldn't stay home he was going absolutely stir crazy at home he's just struggling with social interaction and because of that i felt that he needed to start socializing again and we put him into daycare part-time and also because my husband is like i said in meetings all day every day and it's really difficult to keep a toddler entertained and happy and quiet uh, during all these meetings because his favorite person in the whole world is my husband. So for him to be literally just steps away from him and not playing with him and ignoring him based to work, um, it's really tough on a toddler. And this little kid, oh yeah, he's been teething. He has almost five teeth now, mashallah. He has two at the bottom and three coming up at the top. So his sleep has just been, it's been a wreck. I reached a point of emotional and mental burnout. I couldn't handle picking up the vlog and maybe you'll hear it in my voice i'm just a little bit shaky in how i'm talking and i'm always out of breath <laughs> i've just been dealing with a lot of that and so it's difficult to pick up a camera and feel like i'm just spewing ne negativity at you guys i don't want to do that i want this to be a positive place for you guys so that you can kind of catch up with me and we can relate and talk about all things motherhood i miss Suleiman. i had a very tough day yesterday which was which is why i didn't vlog I always have a hard time with him being away from me. I'm not used to it. Yesterday when he came home, he was just way, way better than he's been this whole four months of quarantine. Um, restrictions have lifted a lot here in Quebec because the cases have dropped significantly. Like we've successfully flattened the curve here in Canada according to the last uh, census of everything. But if cases pick up for any reason whatsoever again, then we will obviously pull him out right away. If anyone is in the same circumstance as me, let me know. I wanna hear how things are going for you guys. I'm hoping that this will kind of ease out that burnout that I'm feeling that once Suleiman really transitions into his daycare again, we can get more sorted out around in the house. I really hope my husband goes back to work. I know I, I'm grateful that he's home, but I can't get anything done. We work smack dab in the middle of our home every single day and it makes it really difficult to get chores done to cook because he's right in the kitchen working and it's really a lot to child rear two children while that's happening i'm gonna go pick him up now and i'm gonna leave this little guy with his dad which means he's gonna be sitting in his lap during a meeting but you gotta do what you gotta do luckily the daycare is only like five minutes away so i'm gonna walk there and pick him up but before that i've gotta wash my face this guy's a little chatterbox. Yeah, he's just a little chatterbox. Yes, you uh. are. Okay, so I obviously washed my face and I redid my brows. And I had some people ask me, like, if I wear make when I wear makeup, how I do my wudu. I just wash off my makeup because it's all not waterproof. I don't usually wear it waterproof other than mascara occasionally. I'm gonna go get Suleiman. Before I do that, I'm just gonna take a moment to feed his hawk because he seems hungry again. I encourage you to continue to nurse on demand. I pump and I do offer pumped milk to him uh, just as a top up. Like if I feed him and I realize that he's still maybe a little bit squirmy, I'll give him a couple ounces of pumped milk and that usually settles him down. I'm gonna nurse him and then I'm gonna go pick up today, man. When you're walking with an empty stroller, the looks you get are incredulous. Like it's crazy. People kind of, they look at you like you're crazy. And I hope the wind is not too loud because it's very windy on the street. I'm walking right now with the empty stroller because I use the stroller during the day with this hawk. So I like to keep it at home with me. I got Suleiman. Say hi. Got a special treat today. Okay, so I got him and he's just having his chocolate i decide to give him one today i don't give him one every day obviously this is just a special treat for him he was very well behaved today he used the potty so trying to reward the good behavior
playing with your brother's toy? No. What's that? Is that Mr. Sun? Mr. Golden Sun. So it's been a few hours since I last checked in. I've made a couple videos of what I've been doing. We've gotten home and then, <laughs> and then right when we got home, he used the potty. So I gave him a bath, of course, because he was also at the daycare today and I don't mess around with that. And this is quite possibly my first time sitting down today. I feel like I'm only gonna have a very short while to do this. So I'm taking advantage and sitting down for a moment to catch my breath. I have to see Izzy, he's adorable, mashallah. Are you playing with your toes? That's a new one, I love that. <laughs> he's playing with his toes and sucking his thumb. Oh boy, I try not to let him suck, uh, suck his thumb, but since he's been teething, his hands are always in his mouth. Mommy. Yes, yeah. mommy, come. And I gave him some early dinner because his dad's also gonna be- No, mommy. Yes, mommy, what's wrong? Come, you wanna come? Uh -huh. Daddy, mama. I'm coming, Ray. Yeah. I love you. Oh, yeah, some floss on your cheeks. Come give me a bowl. Good morning. Yeah, it's good morning. Mommy, it's, mommy. it's like the evening now. Hi, mommy. Okay. Are you in the sky? Careful. Be careful. As you can see, Yusuf's not here. That's why it's okay for him to be making all this ruckus and he's so happy as you can see to be making all this ruckus oh careful 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 please please be careful habibi mama mommy yes mommy give me a voice i love you okay give me five give me five okay high five high five ready ready he likes this one high five do it again. High five. Go play, mommy. Go play, mommy. Get up. I just want to lie down. <laughs> this is the energy that my son has, mashallah. His dad went to go play soccer for the first time since this quarantine happened. Um, yeah. So, since he went to go play soccer, there's this amazing. Yes, Baba. This is the noise that I always deal with them. Sorry guys, if you can relate to this, let me know in the comments. Since he went to go play soccer, there's actually this amazing falafel place right by it called Falafel St. Jacques. If you're in Montreal, you have to try it. And the falafel there is the best in the city. It's my favorite kind because it's not the brown one, it's the green one. So he's gonna bring that. We haven't had that in a long, long time. Yesterday I cooked um, and I also made an extra dinner for Suleiman because I don't like to keep him um, waiting on food. I think it's better for him to just have his routine. But I give him, um, I give him a full dinner. So he just had at least one serving of pasta with meat, and inside that meat sauce, there's like broccoli and carrots and tomato, onion, celery, just that basic stuff. I try to incorporate whatever I can and then it was like a brown pasta so he loved that and then during that time that I was doing the dishes and that I was doing the laundry I actually was pumping so this LV pump has come really helpful I do have a double uh, LV pump but I only like to usually pump at one side at a time because I'll usually breastfeed and then what the side that he breastfed on I'll pump more to make a uh, more supply on that side this is his favorite toy of all time thank you auntie katie yeah hey. yeah auntie katie Khalto katie saw she got you a fire truck yeah she got you a fire truck are you okay little buddy are you hungry again uh, 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 uh. don't bite yourself don't bite yourself yeah. oh are you okay? Look how beautiful he is, mashallah. I love, love, love my boys. They're so cute. Yeah. By the way, I will be doing a four and five month update combined soon on his hawk. So expect that in the coming week as well. Because a lot has happened in the past two months. So I will be doing a full update about it. Yeah. You're growing a lot, mashallah. You're growing a lot. Yummy, are you drinking your first bottle of pumped milk? Good job. Come give me a hug. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. Oh, Zelina, give me a hug. That's good. Oh, big boy. Cool. Wow, of course. Mwah. 
Ah! Uh -huh. So my husband just got back and he brought a friend with him. So we're gonna have dinner with his friend and then I'll probably do the nighttime routine for the boys and put him to sleep because it is now seven o'clock, which is already bedtime. So they're going to bed a little bit late today. I'm gonna cap off the vlog here. If you like these types of videos, please be sure that you support my channel with a like, comment, and share if you can. It really helps uh, support my content when you guys do that. And I'm encouraged to post more. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.